Hey guys, what's up? It's Mel the Jagus fan 21, and I have some new additions that you guys probably saw in that video that I created. I got all three of them, or yeah, three. Um, I got the, the exotic bag, the 909 F2 with the Diamond, and not the Voodoo. Um, and I got my S2 irons for an early birthday present. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, here we go. So here is my four exotic sandbag. Hold on. Look at that. Sorry, I'm doing this with a uh, what do you call it? A laptop. So it's gonna be kind of bad. It's gonna be a little hard to do this. But this bag is insane. Sorry for not the best taping, but this bag is legitimately insane. Like, I, I was blown away when I opened this. Pocket over there. Pocket over there. Super, super comfortable. I'd recommend this bag to, like, anybody who wants, like, a nice, classy stand bag. It's just in, insane. Like, it's freaking crazy. This valuable pocket. I'll take you through the bag in just a minute. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show you my new clubs. So, here we go. I'll just show you my gap wigs. I got four through gap wigs, Cobra S2s. They're great irons. Um, here they are. Trying to get the lighting on here. Oh, God, this lighting blows. Hold on. One sec, guys. Sorry. Um, Alright, so Cobra S2s. Here's my gap wedge. Great, great iron. Um, for the face, uh, it's a little bit dirty. I played a few rounds with them. Um, they've got the Nippon Pro S, um, 1030, uh, stiff flex shafts on them, steel, standard Cobra grip on them. The grip's nice though, it really is. Um, I got those in four. They're pitching legs. Um, they're great if you're like a mid handicap or even a low handicap. But like they're they're just great irons. Like really good. Um, I'll show you my 909 now. Um, here's my 909. Got Titleist grip. Um, really nice grip. I don't know if I'm gonna change this any time soon because it's good. It really is. Um, the Diamond Blue Board. Great, great shaft. Um. Probably the best shaft I've ever had on a golf club. Really, really good. Uh, stiff flex, 75 grams. Uh, the amount of blue board. There's the head cover. Titleist 909F. 18 and a half degrees. Um, Titleist. So yeah, I'll show you the club now. Head cover's a little difficult to get out. Alright, so here's the club. Tyler's 909 S2. 18 half degree, stiff flex. Um, here's the alignment on it. Right there. Pretty sweet. It's a little compact head, which I like. Um, the face. Look at that face. Just awesome. Really awesome. Um, yeah, great fairway wood. It's my 5 wood now. So if you're looking for a fairway wood, definitely recommend the 909 S2. Great, great fairway wood. Great. I've only played one round with it, but it's really good. Trust me, you guys won't be disappointed if you pick this club up. You really won't. And I will show you. Um, so, yeah, I have that putter that I showed you guys. Um, clubs are still the same. Still got the Dymo, um, the Launcher Hybrid, the Nike Sumo 3 wood. That'll be my next club that comes out of my bag. The face is a little too big, like chunky, but it's still good. Um, I still get good distance and stuff with it, but uh, probably gonna get like a square Dymo before they come out of stock because they're they're relatively cheap. And my brother has the square one or the circle one, Sergio Fano three, and he loves it. And I hit it. it it's perfectly fine for a hundred bucks. You can't beat it. So that will probably be my next club. Um, but yeah, I'll take you inside the bag now. Um. So yeah, like I said, four exotics, crazy, crazy ass bag. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not that good at taping with a webcam, but this bag is legit insane. Like, I know I've said that a few times now, you guys are probably going to make fun of me for it, but it's just crazy bag.
so in this pocket I have it has nine pockets guys nine pockets um in there I just it's hard to do this with the webcam so I'm just gonna try to show you guys what I have in here I have some like deodorant chapstick um bug spray bug cream all that kind of stuff um and here is the rain gear in this pocket right here the rain gear um and then it's just like tons of space um the valuable pocket it's like fur lined it's right there that little x where my finger is right there um i have my oakley's in there the the oil rigs sea panes great um really nice sorry i'm kind of squinting it's pretty sunny out um yesterday it snowed like a bitch and today it's like 65 degrees and that's really good for pennsylvania um and here i keep my glove with joy sideflex glove that camillo plays great glove i know why he plays it now um yeah really good glove um if you're looking for a glove i'd recommend it it's nice and soft good grip on it um in the big pocket keep my balls i currently am playing the new Bridgestone, the new Bridgestone Tour B330 RX, the new Bridgestone ball. It's sort of like lower swing speeds, but my swing speed's pretty fast. It's like 90, 95, 96. I mean, that's not super fast, but I mean, it's still good. Um, yeah, um, really, really good ball. Um, that's pretty much what I'm playing now. Me and my dad play those. Well, my dad, my dad just bought them for me and. He plays them a little bit. He has a faster swing speed than I do. But, um, yeah. And then in the other pocket, I just keep teasing crap like that. It's like another side pocket. Sorry, I'm not really showing you the pockets just because it's really, really hard to tape this. Sorry, this is a long video. Um, and then in the other pocket, I just keep my sunglasses case, like my hard case, Oakley. Nice. I had to buy that separate in case you guys are wondering. Um, so yeah, the padding is really nice on this. Really, really padded. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to. Um, yeah, Tor Exotic Stand Bag. Really, really great bag. Only $130. Really recommend it. So if you guys are looking for a stand bag, definitely recommend it. Alright guys, see you later.